Good morning, Calvary. Uh, Pastor Chad here, and I just wanted to catch you up to date with the news of what's happening in our church. Uh, many of you already know by now that uh, Pastor Joe Donahue announced his resignation this past weekend uh, as co-lead pastor of Calvary. Uh, he and Christy and the family are going to be moving to South Carolina, where they feel like God has led them uh, to be the lead pastor of a church. And and so uh, I just want you to know that we're going to be praying for Joe and Christy and the girls, that God would bless them. We thank God for their ministry here at Calvary, and we're going to continue to thank God and pray that he would use them in a great way in South Carolina to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Uh, of course, that leaves a lot of people asking, what next for Calvary? Uh, and, uh, and I just got to admit, I'm not always excited when God decides to trample my plans. And, uh, you know, having a co-pastor, having a succession plan was my idea, and I was uh, in favor of it. Uh, but uh, sometimes when our plans uh, meet God's plans and they're not the same, it's easy to uh, complain about God's plans to God. And, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, I trust God with His plans. His plans are better than our plans. Uh, you know, He says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope in a future. So even when my plans don't work out, I trust God and his plans to, to bless us, to help us to be effective as a church in Parker and Lake Havasu at leading people to that life-changing relationship with the Son of God and Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. So uh, I hope you'll join with me in praying for the Donahues and that God would bless them where they're going. But I also invite you to pray with me that God would bless us right here at Calvary so that his work would continue of life change. Now, people are asking, well, what are we going to do? Uh, and we've already had uh, the departure of Pastor Chet recently, and now with Pastor Joe leaving. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, right away, we're not going to do much of anything other than continue effective ministry of life change. That's, that's what we're committed to doing. And we're not going to rush into any decisions. We're definitely not going to panic about anything. We have a team that is faithful and committed and excellent, and we're going to continue serving Christ right here in Havasu and Parker, and we're going to invite you to do that with us. Uh, in fact, with Christmas coming up, I hope you'll already circle the 24th for our Christmas Eve services. We're going to have a one o'clock Christmas Eve service at our McCulloch campus, a classic Christmas. We're going to have a 2, 3, 30, and 5 service at Sweetwater campus in Lake Havasu, and a four o'clock service in Parker. And I hope that you will bring your family, your friends, yourself to come and worship Jesus as we celebrate his birth and share the gospel with people who normally don't go to church, but might accept your invitation to come and worship and celebrate Jesus. And beyond that, uh, you're just going to have to endure with me preaching a little bit more often. I'm kind of excited about that, honestly. Uh, so I hope that doesn't disappoint you too much. And uh, then Pastor Robert is going to get a chance to preach a little bit more even still. And then down the road, we'll figure out what God wants us to do next. But right now, we're going to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, lean not on our own understanding, but in all of our ways, acknowledge Him. And guess what He'll do? He will direct our paths. So that's our plan. Uh, I hope it's your plan. And I'm praying that God blesses you as we continue to proclaim Jesus right here at Calvary.